If you're into high-end photography and love cameras that push the limits of image quality, then this one might catch your eye. There are rumors going around that Hasselblad is working on a new medium format camera called the X3D150 seat. And if these leaks are right, this might be a serious upgrade over their current models. The name suggests it could come with a 150 megapixel sensor, which means insane detail and clarity in your shots. Medium format cameras are already known for incredible image quality, but this one might take it even further. What makes this exciting is that it might bring a bunch of improvements like a faster processor, a better grip, weather sealing, and even in body image stabilization. So you could get top-notch quality without needing a tripod all the time. The sensor might be a new design too, which could help in low light and improve dynamic range. So your shots have more detail in both shadows and highlights. If you shoot landscapes, studio portraits, or commercial work, this might be the kind of camera you've been waiting for. And in this video, we're breaking down everything we know so far and what you can expect from the Hasselblad X 3D150C. Starting with the build, the X3D150C is likely to carry the sleek and clean look that Hasselblad cameras are known for. It might be made with a strong aluminum alloy frame that not only looks premium, but also helps keep the weight down. Early reports suggest the grip might be slightly larger and reshaped to feel more natural in your hand. That's important for long shoots because a better grip means less hand strain and more control the buttons and dials might get an upgrade too, so they feel more solid and offer better feedback when you use them. You might be able to customize more of them as well, which helps you work faster without going through menus. The screen on the back is also rumored to get better resolution and improve touch controls, so swiping through images or tapping settings feels smoother and quicker. The electronic viewfinder might get a boost too, maybe with a higher refresh rate and better clarity. This would be a big help for composing shots in bright sunlight or when working with manual focus lenses. Also, we might see stronger weather sealing so the camera can handle outdoor environments better. This means you don't need to worry as much if you're shooting in dusty places or light rain. Now the sensor is the big news here. The X3D150C might come with a 150 megapixel medium format sensor, which is a huge jump in resolution. This would allow you to crop in deeply without losing image quality or print massive photos with stunning detail. It could also be a backside illuminated sensor, which helps in low light because it gathers more light and produces cleaner images with less noise. This camera might also get a new image processor, which would be necessary to handle such large files quickly. A faster processor means quicker image previews, faster startup, and smoother operation overall. It could also improve color processing and dynamic range, which means your images will have richer tones and better detail in highlights and shadows. The autofocus system could see a major update too. There's talk of moving from contrast detect to phase detect autofocus, which would be faster and more reliable. This would help a lot when you're shooting portraits or anything that moves because the camera can lock on quicker and keep focus on eyes or faces more accurately. One of the most exciting rumors is about in-body image stabilization. This could give you up to seven stops of shake reduction, which means you could shoot handheld in low light or use slower shutter speeds without blur. This would make the X3D150C more flexible and easier to use in real-world situations for storage. The camera might come with internal solid state storage along with dual card slots, so you'd have fast access and backup at the same time. This setup helps during long shoots when you can't stop to transfer files, especially if you're working with large raw files. The camera could also get updated ports like USB-C for quick file transfers and better charging options. It might also have improved wireless features so you can control it from your phone or send photos directly to your devices for instant sharing. This would help if you're working in a studio or on location and need fast previews, battery life might be improved with a larger battery and better power management so you can shoot longer without changing batteries all the time. If you've used medium format cameras before, you know this has been one of their weak points, so it's nice to see it possibly getting better. Hasselblad might also improve color science with this camera, so skin tones look more natural and colors feel more balanced straight out of the camera. This helps reduce editing time and gives you great results even without post-processing overall. The Hasselblad X3D150C is shaping up to be a powerful tool for photographers who want the very best image quality, but still want a camera that's easy to use, from the improved grip to better autofocus, faster operation, and insane resolution. It looks like Hasselblad is aiming to bring top-level performance in a portable and modern design. 
So that's what we know so far about the rumored Hasselblad X3 D150C, and if even half of these leaks turn out to be true, this could be one of the most exciting medium format cameras in years. It's not just about the crazy 150 megapixel resolution, it's about the total package that makes shooting easier and results better, with things like better grip, image stabilization, faster autofocus, and smarter storage. Hasselblad seems to be building something that could compete with high-end DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, but with even better image quality. If you're someone who shoots for clients or prints big, this camera might give you everything you need without needing to carry a bunch of gear around, and we'll be keeping a close eye on more leaks or official news. So if you want to stay updated on the Hasselblad X3 D150C or any other pro gear, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you're excited for this camera or have questions, Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts and see what features you're most excited about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.